common misconception out there is that for some reason one exercise is better than another. So I really don't do squats mainly because my back hurts, my knees hurt, and just when my form starts to get good again, I tweak something and I'm like back out of the gym injured for a couple weeks. So the real question is what makes one exercise better than the other? The answer is there is no better exercise. If your goal is to build your legs and you equate building legs to squats, then what you're saying is by squatting your legs get bigger. If I say I want a leg press and by leg pressing my legs get bigger, then how is one exercise better than the other? Now I understand that squatting may require more core strength, may require some more accessory muscles than a, more of an isolated exercise like the leg press. But if the goal is to actually build the strength and the size of your legs, it doesn't matter what machine or what exercise you do as long as you progress in that exercise. So for example, if I was squatting and I was squatting 225 and then a week later or a month later I'm squatting 250, I've put on 25 pounds onto my squat, so I progressed. Based on the law of specificity, basically, as I progress, my muscles have to get stronger in response in order to handle the new weight load. Whether they get stronger and bigger, or bigger or stronger, or both, it doesn't matter. Something had to change in order to manage that new weight load. Now let's say I'm on leg press, and oh, you squat 200 pounds, but you can leg press 500. That's fine, so I leg press 500 pounds. Now let's say I can add 50 pounds to my leg press or 100 pounds to my leg press in the next month or two months. In order to make that 50 or 100 pound jump, my body has to respond to that as well. So whether my muscles get bigger or stronger, they still have to respond in regards to the new workload I'm putting them under. So by progressing on leg press, my legs have to get bigger in response the same way your legs get bigger in response to progressing on squats. If you want, you could technically progress on lunges or you could do progression on leg extensions or hamstring curls, anything. It doesn't matter. The problem is people switch back and forth too quickly. Like, oh, Monday I'll leg press, Tuesday I'll squat, Thursday I'll leg press, Saturday I'll squat, Sunday I'll squat, Monday I'll leg press. It doesn't work like that. There's no way for you to track what you're actually progressing if you're constantly switching your movements. So if you want to squat, and the squats can be good results, stick to squats. If you don't want to squat, you can do leg press, you can do leg extensions, you can do lunges, as long as you're successfully implementing either an increase in volume or intensity, you're going to make strength or size gains. That's just going to happen based on the principle of specificity that states when the body's put underneath a certain stress or workload, the body responds in order to handle that workload. So if I leg press 500 and then this off season I get all the way up to 1,000, I'll have added 500 pounds to my leg press. That's just as impressive as adding 50 or 100 pounds to a squat because I simply had to make a change in progression, whether it's strength or size, in order to accomplish that. Now people, a lot of people ask, well, what does progression really mean? So let's say I'm, I'm squatting 200 pounds and I do it for eight reps, and then I do it for 10 reps, then I do it for 12 reps, then I do it for 15 reps. It's safe to say I successfully conquered the 200 pound mark. I now need to add weight because I can keep going up and up and up in volume, but it becomes unrealistic to squat it for 30, 40, 50 reps. So I've done two sets of 15, maybe I try three sets of 15, or maybe I start back at set one and now instead of 200 pounds, I try eight reps at 225, and then I do eight reps at uh, 230, or eight reps at 240. Or if you don't want to change it in weight, you can change it in reps. So let's say you're at 200 pounds and you go up from eight to 12 to 15, then you're like, okay, I'm done with the squats now, I'll go back down, add 10 pounds, and start back at eight reps, and then go 210 for eight, 210 for 12, 210 for 15 reps, and then drop it back down to, to 215 and go back to eight reps. 12 reps, 15 reps, so forth. Either way, as long as you're creating progression, the body will respond and create muscular growth. So it does not matter if you choose to do leg press or you choose to do squats. If your goal is to make your legs bigger or stronger or both, all you simply need to do is pick an exercise, stick to it longer than two weeks. 
realistically, you want to stick to it for an entire meso cycle. So about a 12 week period or 12 week training block would be ideal. So you can actually track proper progression, whether your form improves, whether your reps get better, whether you can add more weight to the machine, whatever it is, you need to stick to it for a while and create that progression. And then you will see what you're aiming to get, whether it's size, strength, or both. So there is no such thing as one exercise technically being better than the other. And that's why a lot of people get confused and say, oh, if you don't squat, whatever excuse they want to make, your legs won't get bigger, you're not a real man, you know, whatever crap. You don't know how to power lift, oh, you're not a real bodybuilder. It doesn't matter. Because the honest truth is when you stand on stage, when I'm standing on stage next to the guy next to me, I don't know his workout routine at all. I don't know his diet either. And if I beat him, then did it really matter if I leg pressed all off season and he squatted all off season? It didn't. It's based on what the judges think. So when people tell me you're not a real bodybuilder because you don't squat, makes absolutely no sense. Completely irrelevant statement. I'm a bodybuilder because I'm progressing and I'm getting bigger and stronger. And that's my goal is to get bigger and stronger every single season or every single show or every single off season, competition season, whatever you want to call it. That's my goal. And if I'm accomplishing it, then I'm technically doing exactly that. I'm bodybuilding. So don't believe the hype that squats are the only exercise you can do to build your legs.